All righty, folks. We got to ask Omar, real estate agent, broker, investor in the high desert. What the hell is going on? We have mortgage rates at 8% one day. Now they're at seven and a half the next day. We got the winter season. We've got no inventory. Is the real estate market as bipolar as I think it is? What's going on? Yes. What's up, Michael? What's up, everybody? Yes, the real estate market in our area is definitely bar bipolar. Different, you know, we're not talking about Orange County. Obviously, Orange County has its own little world. Totally different. But anything surrounding L.A., San Diego, Riverside County, San Bernardino County, where this is primarily where we sell real estate. Um, yeah, we're tripping. So we're officially over 980 houses oh, available. I so owe you, you a owe dollar. me a dollar. I do yeah, owe but you for a as dollar. Many times, as many times as I cuss on the show, it's probably a wash anyway. So we'll call it even. <laughs> yeah. So at the same time, guys, um, you know, this is crazy. Regardless of where the market's at, regardless of where the interest rate's at, um, uh, inventory low, inventory high, people still buy and sell real estate. Okay, Regardless, they still buy and sell real estate. It could be a little slower. It could be fast because guess what? If someone's getting kicked out of their rental or they're going to get an increase, you know, I would say right now, stay in that rental property because you're going to be paying more money if you go buy a house right? Yeah. A lot more money. And it's not feasible. You got to think about it depending on your situation. But at the same time, you get an inheritance, you get a couple properties, you're going to sell the property regardless of where it's at. You don't yeah. care who's going to buy it. Yeah. So I have a feeling that there is a lot of, um, you know, if it's any time to move up to a better house it would be now because this reason being, you could probably get a 40 to $50,000 discount on the, those bigger houses. Yeah. Dude, no, no I, BS. I, I feel very confident, Omar, that we are repeating Q4 of last year. Q4 of last year, if you wanted to get a great deal, it was buying luxury. And you could get yeah. six figures off. And um, rates Imagine were high. That, six figures? Yeah, six figures. Um, in oh. your market, that's a big number. That's like 20, 25%, right? So, Dude, um, crazy. I think... I think if you're lucky enough to be shopping for luxury, now is your time. Um, I also think that we're set up to have rates a little lower than, you know, they won't be at 8%. I think there's a good chance we've hit peak rates. And my big question for you, Omar, is what happens if we repeat March and April next year? Ooh. March and April, Ooh. all this demand came flying. Like, remember, remember all the flippers who bought in Q4, lost money in January and February? And then all of a sudden people were buying like crazy in March and April. That yeah. might happen again. Imagine. It's I think the setup is there, man. I think it's set up to set up for and that. if and and if we have a crazy uptick in March, April, um, like you just said, what happens? I I'm starting to think I haven't said this publicly. I don't I think I've said it only once. I think there's a chance that home prices go up five to eight percent next year, nationally. Okay, so let's take that. Let's take in, into consideration three hundred or four hundred thousand dollar house. Yep. Right. Our median home price goes up eight percent. Yeah. So it goes to four twenty to four thirty two. Yeah, and it's all because of, it's all because I think rates are becoming down. And there's, I actually think the housing market has constipation. Like it's just I, waiting to explode. It's, stuck. <laughs> it's just stuck. Right. That's and funny. how is it going to get cleansed? Lower rates. <laughs> <laughs> and what's crazy is you're right. If they lower that rate, it's going to, it's going to open up the floodgates, my opinion, for all these people that are waiting. Dude, that, that's the biggest difference between 08 and today in 2008. When demand turned off, it turned off, never to come back. Today, right. it's backing up. It's just like, how many people you talk to? I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And I wonder, like, and, and everyone's waiting, waiting. So if the feds do drop that rate, man. Um, do we get to 699? 699 is the number. You got to get a and What do you think on that? What do you mean? I think it comes next year. I think it comes in Q1. 
Q1, 699. So you're saying that I should keep some of these other properties so I can have like a run up of 20 grand. Well, again, you got to be able to carry it. I don't know if they're empty. You know, you've got, cause like if you're going to carry it five months and you have three grand of holding cost a month, that's 15 grand. So is the, is the upside worth it? No. Right. No. So I don't know the situation, but yeah, it's um like, if I had a rental that I wanted to sell, I wouldn't kick the tenant out today. No. And, and I, I actually re-rented yeah, like three exactly. of my properties just because it's like, yeah, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. wait. So it really could yeah. go this way. So uh, I think it's really, I do think the real housing market is broken. I actually think it is it is constipated. And there is a good chance that rates falling relieves the constipation. And it might get Damn. pretty interesting. You know what? Then this is where you want to have a crap load of offers out there. And you get a bunch of them accepted like December, January, January. Uh, even February. Yep. January, February, you pick up. Well, you, you get them 10. locked up. You get them locked up in January. You close in February. And then you come yes. out April, May, June with product. With a 6968, we got a $15,000 run up, 20000 And that's going to be easy. In our market, we dropped to 380 by the way. 380 ah. meaning home price. So yeah. it will hit 400, 410 again. Yeah, exactly. Again, if we're right, right? This, I could be wrong. Maybe rates will be twelve percent, and then everything the world ends. So we'll see. Fucking twelve percent. Yeah, uh, we're, <laughs> our conversation is a little different at that point. Yeah, exactly. Twelve percent. Well, do me a favor, Omar. Where can people find you? Guys, follow me on IG at Invest with Omar. I'm here to help you guys. Or OmarAlfaro.com. Thank we'll you. See buddy. you guys soon.